pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual with liberty and justice for all. And now, our feature presentation. It's good to tell people that you're thankful for them. So I have some thank you notes to write. Can I get some thank you note writing music? Thank you, couples in the hallway, for teaching me that two people can, in fact, block a whole hallway. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sparkling water, for being p pretentious and basic. Oh, versions of water. <laughs> thank you. Gingerbread cookies for bringing joy to bakers and up and coming cannibals. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, school Wi Fi, for absolutely no nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Beth, we need help. <laughs> Thank you. Math teacher substitute videos for having the math skills of Pythagoras mixed with your 6 year old nephew's video production skills. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Christmas cards, for telling me everything your family has done this year, even though I don't care. <laughs> Thank you, goldenrod paper, for letting my teacher pretend they have a fun side while really telling me that's what was already in the copier. <laughs> Thank you, emergency exit plans, for giving me a plan that I can completely throw it when there's a sub. <laughs> Thank you, uplifting posters in school, for making me wonder who needs them more, the students or the teachers. <laughs> Thank you. The grade book is updating for being the teacher equivalent of my dog ate my homework. <laughs> Those are my thank you notes. Hi Cougars. Today I'm walking through the halls seeing if people know what they think they know. Fact checking. In the original animated Snow White, what famous phrase activates the queen's mirror? Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. So it's magic mirror on the wall, but everyone here is mirror, mirror on the wall because the Mandela effect is real. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? What accessory does the Monopoly mascot Rich Uncle Pennybags wear? A sunglasses? C. D B. Sunglasses. D. None of the above. What is the name of the popular firefighting bear? Smokey the Bear. Isn't it like Smokey the Bear or something? Uh, smoke the Bear. Smokey Bear? Hey kids, I'm Smokey Bear. Who famously said, I can see Russia from my house? B. Sarah Palin. I think Sarah Palin. I'm gonna go with C. Melania Trump. Oh, Tina Fey. And I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> Finish the iconic line, blank, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Right? Baby? No, I am your father. I love Star Wars. <laughs> no, I am your father. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm Caroline Simmons, and I started this club with my friend Kendall McHugh. We're both foster families. I foster dogs, and she fosters kittens. And from doing that, we just saw how important the issue was with all the pets that like, we got to meet and pretty much rescue from the kill shelters. So far, we've raised $490 for various charities through selling t-shirts in our bake sale, and we have 123 members. You should go follow us on Instagram at QO Foster Fur Change and text our remind code at Foster Fur to 81010 to get more updates. And if you follow our Instagram, you can get more club updates and you can see cute photos of animals because who doesn't like cute animals? Hey guys, I'm Kayla. I wrote fan fiction for two of my teachers, Mr. Denhard and Mr. Aurora, and I recorded them reading it out loud. Let's just say it was interesting. It was a cold winter day. The air was buzzing with whispers of the snowstorm that was supposed to hit Montgomery County and bring more snowfall since the snow blizzard, snow blizzard of 2008. Oh, that's cool. All right. Uh, everyone was planning for at least a week off of school, as they do, and parents were stocking up in preparation. Mr. Denhard, that's me, and Mr. Aurora were in the English lounge, heating up their leftovers from the night before. So, Denny, everyone calls him Denny. That is not cool. Uh, did you hear about the snowstorm that's coming this weekend? Mr. Aurora asked while he pressed the start button on the microwave. Of course, Kanal. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it. I need to start getting food, blankets, and flashlights in case the electricity goes out. Mr. Denhard responded. <laughs> Why you gotta read like that, man? Uh, oh, what? Still me, sorry. He knew he had to buy everything he needed, but he hated shopping. That he alone. does. Shopping alone. He is. He's lonely. He's lonely. He Daddy. always felt more comfortable in the company of Mr. Aurora. Aww. He was his safe place. Yeah, it's my boy. Mr. Denhard grabbed Mr. Aurora's shoulder and turned his body to look him in the eyes. Oh, hello. His eyes were a <laughs> What warm... is this script? His eyes were a warm chocolate brown. Wow. It's a little racist. Filled with wonder and acceptance. Is that my eyes? Are I, warm, chocolatey, I mean, and filled with wonder? Both are. We okay. both have brown eyes. But are yours actually filled with chocolatey wonder? I mean, yours are. Alright. Shyly, Mr. Denhard asks, out of present tense. Yeah, you gotta be shy now. I know it's hard for you. Would you want to? It's the same voice. Perfect. I don't know. Maybe. Come with me to the store. Oh! I heard Costco has great bundles and deals. I can't believe you would ask me something like that. Kanal lowers his eyes away from Ransom's dark, piercing ones. That's my first name, Ransom. Mr. Denhard felt his heart fall to his stomach. Ooh. His face was burning, and he was so embarrassed. Uh, me too. He should right never now. have put himself out there. No. I can't believe you'd ask me that, Kanal repeated. You know, I would drop anything to go to Costco with you. Mr. Denhard's face lit up. You're the best buddy. Oh my god. Anything for you, Denny. That's what best friends are for. The end. The end. Kayla, this was... I don't know. Bad? 50%? What? Horrible? It's really forcing me it was, to reflect on my it was an attempt. My, my professional relationship. An attempt was made. The minimum 50% threshold was achieved for sure. I hope you enjoyed, but keep a watch out for our next segment because Mr. Jernigan will be reading his fan fiction. You always got talent. Thursday, December 20th, in the auditorium at 7 o'clock. Make sure you be there, bring all your friends, all proceeds go to the new sound system in the gym.
audience picks the winner. There's going to be hundreds of dollars worth of prizes, so make sure you guys come out. Hosted by us. It is true.